I think the other area for homeowners with boilers, it, you need to ask the question, how do I move the water around the house? So for each of your thermostats, you would have a zone of heating. Um, if we look over at this demonstration here, we'll talk about the changes in pump technology. So each, each of these, and if you, if you look in your basement, you're looking for the piping and how many of these circulators you have would dictate how many zones of heat you have. So for each thermostat, you should either have a pump or a small device that is, that is called a zone valve. So most typically, older systems would have multiple pumps. And these pumps, certainly the older ones, were very energy inefficient. Today's pumps have become much more electrically efficient. And we'll see in this demonstration between what is currently the, the typical pump versus what is now the future of, of pumps. And I'll, we'll talk a little bit about the difference, and I'll demonstrate how, how electrically efficient they are. But each of these pumps, when a thermostat calls, causes flow to go through the heating zone. With the advent of this new technology, we can eliminate all of these pumps and run the house on, on one of these pumps. And I'll, I'll give you a little, little visual of what, what's happening. So you have the, the hot water that's going out to your heating system typically had several circulators for each zone of heat. Those would go out and go through whatever heat is in the house, whether it's a piece of baseboard, a radiator, or even a, a fan coil that blows air, that would go out and come back downstairs and go back to the boiler to be reheated. Now each of these pumps, even when they're in their smallest state, are consume 80 to 100 watts of power for each, for each zone. The new technology we're going to talk about takes a single pump and we replace all of the other pumps with a low voltage device that's called a zone valve. And all the zone valve does, instead of using 110 volts, it uses 24 volts and just opens and closes. So those pumps get replaced by this small low voltage device called a zone valve. And each of the thermostats, now all they do is open up this zone valve and let flow off to the heating zone. And we install one pump that is able to vary its speed. It speeds up and slows down based on the amount of work it has to do. These pumps didn't know anything but the, but the speed that they're on, and they always run at that speed. So they don't speed up and slow down, and they don't consume less energy. Uh, they just keep, keep pumping away no matter what the system is doing. This technology has a, has a variable speed drive built into it, and it can speed itself up and slow itself down. And each time it can slow itself down, it reduces the electrical consumption dramatically. So we'll, we'll demonstrate this process. So let's take a look at, at the typical circulating pump operating. And we'll see that it's using about 92 watts of energy to run. And if you multiply that out by four, five, six, seven zones, you've got a lot of, of energy consumption. Now we'll switch to this pump. And what makes it special is it has, we don't want to get too technical into what it's doing, but it has a, a this pump you have to energize the rotor that is the shaft and the windings that turn it. So there's two components to energize. You have to energize this shaft in order to create a magnetic field. This pump comes with a permanently magnetized shaft. So they, they're referred to as permanent magnet motors. Therefore, the electrical consumption is only in the windings. It doesn't need to create a magnetic field. So just by its 
design concept, it's about twice as energy efficient, and we'll show you that. So this is doing its work at 91 watts. Now we'll switch to this pump. And we'll watch, it starts out at full speed and then starts to slow down. And it'll do the same amount of work in about half of the watts. So we're at 46 watts now versus the 91 watts. And when you have, when you have this type of strategy where these valves are opening and closing, most of the year, only at the coldest day of the year would you typically have all of your zones open. Most of the time you might only have one or two zones open at a time. So it's nice for this pump to know that it only needs to provide enough flow for these two zones or these two zones or this one zone. So it speeds up and slows down as these valves open. So we'll just simulate that. This pump can't do that, but if we close off flow as if two of those valves closed, we drop into the teens in terms of our watt consumption. So most of the year, we're only, we're only consuming 15 or 20 watts instead of multiples of 80 watts. So the bigger the system, the more the savings. And these, these pumps typically save 60 to 80% in electrical consumption versus traditional pumps. So the, if you see a lot of pumps downstairs, that's a great way to, to save some energy. So we're at 14 watts, which is a typical night light, light bulb. 